Thank you. I'm Mr. Lehner and welcome back to Mr. Lehner's Math Extravaganza. In today's webisode, we're going to take a look at prime and composite numbers and more specifically, how do we find factors of these types of numbers. So let's take a look at an example problem up here. In our first example problem, Riley's trying to understand factors. Sometimes she has trouble finding all the factors of a number. What advice could you give her to find all the factors of a number? Demonstrate this by finding all the factors of 110. So, the first thing I would do if I was talking to Riley is I would have her look at this number 110 and ask her if it was prime or composite. Well, which is it? Do you know if it's prime or composite? Let's hear it. Right, it's composite. How do we know that? Well, 110, 110 has more factors than just one and the number itself, so we know that it's going to be a composite number. Ooh, where do I start then when I'm trying to find these factors? Do I just randomly guess numbers? Where can I begin to find this? Well, we know that 1 times 110 gives us 110, so all the factor or factor pairs that I have are going to be between 1 and 110. So there's multiple ways you can do this, and you may have a different strategy at home. I'm just going to share with you one of my strategies that I use. I always start with the number one and the number itself. For me, I always think this is the easiest way to kind of figure it out, because one times 110 equals 110, and this is a factor pair, one and 110. Well, then I go on to two. Will two work? Well, I look and I say 110 is an even number, so I know that 2 is going to go into it, and I know that 2 times 55 gives me 110, so 2 and 55 are another factor pair. If you've noticed, I've kind of listed this list out, leaving space in between both sides so that I can see the different numbers in order. And I'll tell you why I do that in just a second. Then I look at 3. Will 3 go into 110? Hmm, I'm not sure. But guess what? I know a little trick. If I add all the digits together and 3 goes into it, then 3 will go into 110. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 0 is 2, so will 3 divide into 2 evenly? No, so 3 won't divide into 110 evenly. Then I can look at 4. Will 4 divide evenly in? 4 won't work. Well, I know 110 ends in a 0, so I know 5 would go into it. So I know that 5 times 22 would leave me with with 110, so 5 and 22 are a factor pair. 7 won't work, 8 won't work, 9 won't work. Ooh, I know 10 will go into it. 10 times 11 would give me 110, and I know that 10 and 11 are a factor pair. And now I know that I'm done, I found all the factors. Do you know why I'm done? Yeah, if you see that I went in order, 10 and 11, there's no other number between 10 and 11 unless we got the decimals or halves or fractions in there. Uh, there's no number, whole number between 10 and 11, so I know that I found all the possible factor pairs, going from order from least uh, to greatest as I go through. So if I asked Riley or told Riley to tell me all the factors, she would say 1, 2, 5, 10, 11, 22, 55, and 110 are all factors of 110, and 110 is a composite number. Okay, here comes the fun part. It's your turn at home. Hopefully you have your paper and your pencil ready to go. And you're going to demonstrate your understanding of how to, how to find factors by finding all the factors of 88. And then I want you at home to write whether 88 is a prime or a composite number. Go ahead and pause the video and we'll see what you come up with. Okay, as you work this problem at home, you may have done it a different way than what I have done and that's perfectly fine. Whatever strategy you think that fits best for you, I want you to use that. Don't just use the strategies that I use because math has multiple ways to do it. We all know that. Okay, so I'm going to use my strategy for this one again. You could have done something differently. But I would know that 88 is a composite number. It has more than uh, the factor 1 in itself. I know, wouldn't you have liked if I gave you a prime number? It would be real easy. It would be, you know, like 13. 1 and 13 and you're done. But I made you work a little bit. So I'm going to start with 1 and 88 because 1 times 88 uh, gives you 88. I know that 2 goes into 88 because it's even, so 2 times 44 will give you 88. I would then try 3. I'm going to try that trick again. 8 plus 8 is 16. Will 3 go into 16? 
No, so three will not divide into 88. It's a handy little trick to hang on to. Four, I know that four goes into 88 because four times 22 would give me 88. Five, it doesn't end in a zero or a, uh, a zero or a five, I almost said one there. Zero or five, so I know five doesn't work. Six will not work because both two and three do not divide into it evenly, so six is not gonna work. Uh, seven will not work. And then eight, I know eight times 11 gives me 88. So eight and 11 is another factor pair. Nine will not work. And then 10 will not work because it doesn't end in a zero. And I know that I've made my final factor pair because these are the two closest numbers together uh, and no number past eight, or sorry, no number between eight and 11 uh, will work. So when finding all the factors of 88, one, two, four, eight, 11, 22, 44 uh, are all factors of the number 88. And then 88 is part of the factor pairs. If I asked you to give me factor pairs, one and 88, two and 44, four and 22, and eight and 11. Hopefully you were able to make some sense of the prime and composite numbers and dealing with factors, how we found the factor pairs uh, of each of those numbers. Thank you for tuning in to Ms. Sawyer's Math Extravaganza. As always, we'll see you next time.